Hey everyone, and welcome to another pre-modern Magic Online best of five match. I'm Michael Hoyp. I'm playing my friend Lester today. I'm piloting a red-green survival list. Uh, Lester is on the play. He is Bulligan to six. Uh, this hand is a little sketchy, but I'm going to keep it because it has the survival in the hand. Uh, so what this deck is trying to do is get a lot of value with survival to fittest. Uh, the first card it usually will get it will squee, but then it has combination with Goblin Welder to uh, do a lot of shenanigans to get a lot of value. So we'll see if we can take advantage of that. So it looks like Lester is leading off with a Mox Diamond and a Swamp. So if I had to guess, I would think like Pox. So I'm going to lead with a Forest and then pass a turn. The Seal Cleansing seems like it could be a pretty good draw. Uh, the Pox deck usually has a lot of artifacts and enchantments. Alright, so Mishra's Factory. Still, still has a card that's played in Pox. The Wall Therapy. Okay. Did let him know what I was playing, so maybe <laughs> that uh, makes this Cabal Therapy a little more likely to hit. Because uh, Forest is not very telling of what uh, what uh, the deck might be playing. Looks like he says Survival of Fittest, and that's what he sees. So now I have the choice of whether I want to play Seal Cleansing or run out a Wall of Blossoms. I think I'm just going to play the Wall of Blossoms. First scroll. Okay. He's got one card in hand. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Wall of Blossoms. Especially drawing. Well, Tangle Warrior is not particularly good against his hand. And Lane Tutor is a nice draw. I can get another survival. Uh, so the next turn, I have the option of Enlightened Tutoring during my upkeep. Uh, I could also play a Tangle Wire. And then the next turn, I would have... I have the option to do that too. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just do this during my upkeep. I think that's the, the safest way to get it in play. Against the mono black deck, it's unlikely to uh, believe play once once it's there. All right. I will get more green mana for activations of survival. I'll save this wood if it helps for a red mana. And now I kind of just want to draw creatures. First scroll activation. I'll get to figure out what's in his hand. Ox. All right, so that's one to, one to play around. Each player loses a third of their life, discards a third of their cards in their hand, then sacrifices a third of the creatures, and round it up. Currently, okay, so now he's able to play Pox. So how would we want to do this? Okay, so one third, which is two, discard. I'm going to have to sacrifice one land and one creature. I want to keep the seal cleansing. I think I'm going to discard Anglewire and Gaius Cradle. I'll sacrifice Wall Blossoms. We lose some life. I'll sacrifice Forest. But he's keeping the factories in play. Okay. But yeah, he'll beat me down for two. And then I'm going to play the Seal Cleansing most likely. Um, I don't know if I should be using a Curse Scroll or... Mistress Factory. Because if I use it on a factory, then he will have the other one. But. So, okay, I could, I could hit any of the target. I could use Mox Diamond or Curse Scroll right now. I could wait till he attacks with Factory, but if he just doesn't, then I'm going to take two every turn. 
from the curse scroll. Uh, I guess he at some point he has to play something, otherwise he's flipping coins to, to get the curse scroll activation. I guess he could have lands. Uh, that would make the guaranteed hit. Okay, so a chimeric idol. Hmm. I guess I'll wait till he uses that, but I th think that might be the target. I guess I'm going to. Okay. Uh, so I can. I think I want to get Squee. So uh, I think I might need to use this wooded foothills for for green mana. I guess I can wait because I'm going to. Do it at end turn anyways. So if he has like some sort of discard spell. I guess it's a little bit awkward with Cabal Therapy. But yeah, because if so I guess he's probably attacking with Chimeric Idol. Probably curse scrolling me. And then Chimeric Idling me. But I think I will need to use two activations of the Survival of the Fittest. Starting the Welder to get Squee, and then I'll have to get Green and discard Squee to get something else. We'll have to figure that out. Okay, he'll activate the Curse Scroll. He says Swamp, or a little snow covered Swamp. Okay. I'm going to kill this. Well, yeah, I think I need to. I was going to say, I might be able to get like a another, I think I have another Wall of Blossoms, and then I could maybe just get take out the Curse Scroll, but I don't think I have enough life to do that. All right, let's figure out if there's something we can get here. So we have access to three mana. First card we're going to get is Squee. Then another Forest. I think I need to get Wall Blossoms. Some sort of wall. Field Sphere is also a reasonable option. Uh, it doesn't replace itself, but I guess it's... when. If he draws another land, then he's able to use Curse Scroll and Factory, but I'm going to take this turn to get Wall Blossoms. Okay, we'll get Squee back. Okay, we have Forest. I'll use... I guess maybe I should have... I was going to say, I, I kept the planes open in case I drew like a white card, but... I think I'm more likely to want to use survival twice, so that was likely a mistake. Uh, I guess I can discard Squee here and put a shield sphere into play. This can just pad my life. One thing, I, if I do get a, a red source, then I could get anger, and that would give all my creatures haste, and that makes a, uh, a goblin welder a much more potent threat, because I can just play it and activate it right away. All right, looks like he didn't attack with anything, so he's got first scroll activation that he can use. Let's see what we can find here. Is there anything... Yeah, we don't have don't have something like a bike feeder to get another wall of blossoms I could ditch an anger or a genesis I'm gonna get anger ditch anger I think I'm gonna get wall of blossoms right here Play the Wall of Blossoms. 
Okay, windswept heath. That one doesn't get red, so I'm gonna pass here. Yeah, I don't have that many good options just because I'm at such a low life total. Because he'll be able to use... Oh, Pox is not a card that I want to see. Oh. I think I just might be dead. Well, maybe not right away. I guess he can't cast Pox. So, well, he should have used... Probably should have used Curse Scroll during his upkeep. We might have an extra turn because of that, which could make a big difference, actually. Got to figure out what I want to discard and go get with this Goblin Welder. I don't think I have that many good options. Sure. See if he can get the Goblin Welder. It would be actually a pretty reasonable name. It would be like a card that I wouldn't be able to play. Uh, oh, you named Goblin Welder. Okay. I don't think he had seen that one before, so... Okay, so I get Squee back. Get to draw. Get a Bird's Paradise car. Um, I have to get like Crows and Tusker to get a mountain. I think my, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get Corrosion Tusker. So I can get a mountain. I think it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to be able to do anything or win this game, but i uh, do my best. Those birds, I think it's better to stay in my hand. Maybe I shouldn't even... Okay, uh, yeah, I think I'd rather have this birds to discard to a survival. So at this point, I'm just I'm just dead if he just curse scrolls me in the turn and then does it during the upkeep. So yep. All right, I am dead. We'll move on to game two. Okay, we are back for game two. We are on the play. We have a hand that has two Enlightened Tutors, two Wall of Blossoms, Colossus, and no white mana. Uh, this hand is not great. Uh, though... It does... Oh, I think I'm going to mulligan this. Okay, this is a hand I, uh, I like a little bit better. I try to think how powerful this Solitaire Confinement engine is against him. If I just have Squee, he might not be able to beat me. I did not think of that. But I'm going to keep this. And I think I'm going to put Solitaria on the bottom. I want to thank Dojo, Dojo Tradebots for making this video possible. If you guys play on Magic Online, I suggest you check them out. Uh, they also have a store on PCG Player, uh, Paper Dojo Trade Outlet. Uh, you can check them out. Okay. So, well, this is awkward too that I... I have to get forest and I no longer have red man. I guess I'm not casting squee, so it's not that big of a deal. This hand is also is not very great now that I think about it. Okay, birds of paradise. That's good. Uh, so I want to avoid getting boxed right away. 
would be like a funeral charm that he could have. Alright. I think his guy's cradle is going to die. That I can deal with. I need the colored mana, so... Upkeep, I can... Yep, that's fine. Probably name survival here, and then I get to... I'm going to upkeep. I guess maybe he thinks... I mean, he might name a Lightning Tutor. Album Walder, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to upkeep... Uh, and... Lighten Tutor, and then I can cast the... Cast the Survival right away. The other thing I could get, like, it's a uh, Tangle Wire, but I think Survival is better here. So, tap this. Untap uh, Birds from the Forest. Nice that we already have Squee in our hand. First card we want to get. I do not know. Uh, I also... I could use this ability on his turn to untap the birds if I wanted to discard right now. Don't think I do. I will attack for one. So what is the first card I want to get? Uh, I guess it depends on if he's... Innocent Blood. I am going to sacrifice the Tyrion Ranger. So here I will add green. Let's discard. I think I might want to get another Tyrion Ranger. So if I'm going to untap here, I can just get Anger or Genesis. Or Phyrexian Colossus or Triskillion are the best ones that have my graveyard. I'm going to Anger. Okay. Now I'll sacrifice the Kirin Ranger. Okay, this bird is living, that's gonna make... Okay, so what do we... I think we want to get another Kirin Ranger. I mean, the other option is something like a... Wall Blossoms? But... I like the Kirin Ranger. Okay, we have a Lanarels. So Pox makes us lose a third of the creature, so if I have three, then that's fine. Not anymore. So yeah, I'll do this now. I guess it makes it a little awkward if later I'm going to be uh, adding more creatures. But we'll use the extra mana. A pox actually would not be very good here. I'd be able to return a forest, discard a squee, and sacrifice one of the creatures. I'd only be losing a creature and a squee and, and a chunk of life. But okay, so let's. I guess I can discard I 
guess I could use survival. And get like Genesis. Card that I don't care about discarding. Okay. I will sacrifice the Lanner Elf. He has to discard two cards, so this is a pretty pretty costly pox for him. He discarded a swamp and a wasteland. Okay. Spinning darkness. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I mean, uh, we still have like a since we have a land and a squee, uh, we can keep things going. So and have mana to use the Genesis angle wire. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to get another Carrion Ranger. Okay, so next time I'll be looking to cast Angle Wire, most likely. It is a factory, yep. Yep, so Okay, land is very good. Uh we'll We'll go to forest. Tangle wear and yep. I'm not going to use Kieran Ranger just so I can keep more permanents in play. I'll be tapping the Tangle wear and the Kieran Ranger, and I guess a forest. He has another factory. I also have the option to use Genesis. Tap after we remove a fading color. Okay. Great. Okay. And we draw another survival. Okay, so I can tap this for green, use survival. Let's go get Goblin Welder. Let's use Kyrian Ranger, untap birds, return this tap forest. I get to play a welder. And then I'll play a land. So this welder would allow me to go get Irexian Colossus, Triskelion. Uh, it'll allow, allow me to keep Tangle Wires looping. Uh, so things look pretty good if this is staying in play. We just have lots of land out of Lester. If he attacks, I'm fine with that. Okay. I will... Oh, well, I did this wrong. <laughs> um, so I'll tap one, two, and three. Okay. Now I'll remove a counter. We'll get back Squee. Okay. 
No. Get a wood swap teeth. That's good. So I'm going to cap birds discard Swede will get Erexian Colossus, I think. What I want. I will untap this bird, turn a forest, play a forest. Okay. So I have the option at the end of turn, I'm going to discard the Colossus and uh, then weld it out with the Tangle Wire. So he still has to tap two. Guess I could get a Triskillion after with the search. A curse scroll. That is going to be a card I'm going to want to get rid of. I might use the seal cleansing on that. Okay. So end of turn. Oh no, I'm going to use survival. Get a Triskillion. Survival again. Okay, so we have activation of a goblin wall or a funeral charm. That's fine. So now I can. Okay, so it shoots target earth to control. Okay, so I'm going to target my tangle wire and my pyrexian colossus. So now I could get. Another welder. I think I'm just gonna get a wall of blossoms. I guess I should get a shield sphere and discard that. And I'll get a welder is probably the best best bet. Okay. So stack these. Okay. And yeah, I I think it's just unlikely he's gonna be able to do anything. I'd be able to untap it with a Kieran Ranger. So we'll move to sideboarding. Okay, so if we take a look at what we have in the sideboard. Null Rod definitely seems good. The Winter Orb actually is pretty effective against uh, cards like Curse Scroll and Mishra's Factory. Um, these creatures are reasonable. I mean, a lot of the cards, these cards seem fine. I'm not exactly sure. I, I guess if I have to think that he has something like Torment Script, I think this is a, a matchup where I can actually keep in the solitary confinement. Uh, I think it's unlikely for him to be able to interact with that so so there's it doesn't seem like that many of the cards are bad by death because abu's web is actually great he's got wasteland and mishra's factory uh, i mean it draws a card naturally so um hmm. null rod does make my triskillion a little bit worse but I think it just it's so good against his Mox Diamonds, Chimeric Idols, Curse Scrolls. Bring this in. I guess we'll take out I don't know what we take out. There already is a winter orb in here. Um
Yeah, I don't know. I think I feel like we're pretty well equipped. I'm gonna take out this Tusker. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, we're back for game three of this best of five. Uh, Lester has Mulligan to six. In this hand, while it, it doesn't have survival, it has uh, Wall Blossoms to Sabo's Web, and then hopefully I'll be getting a Tangle Wear down. So I think that it would buy me a lot of time. I kind of do like this hand. Given, given that it doesn't have like a survival, I, I think it's a, a pretty decent hand. Might get shredded by a hand disruption, though. That could be the problem. Yeah, it looks like he's keeping six and leads to the Mishra's factory. Okay. Okay. I have Enlightened Tutor available. So I guess I could just put Survival. Be like a ball therapies me. Yep. Do I want to use Enlightened Tutor right now? I don't think I actually do. I, I kind of just want to draw land. Okay. I will get a white mana with this Windswept Teeth, and then I'm going to be playing the Tasaba's Web. Once it keeps his Mistress Factory tapped. Then next turn I'll probably be playing Wall Blossoms. Okay, we got a Curse Scroll. Okay. And a Wasteland. A Wasteland that's not going to untap if he uses it. Okay. I might hold off on playing my guy's Cradle if I can then. Um, so. I'm going to play a Wall of Blossoms. And then I think I'm just playing Windswept Teeth. I guess maybe I should have used the Windswept Teeth and left uh, White available. Okay, and a simple is fine. Hmm. I got a shield sphere. I guess I should have probably got survival the fittest there. So here, I think I have. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually run out a tangle layer here. Uh, a forest. And a shield sphere. So I'll have lots of permanents to tap. This will keep his wasteland, and then I'll be able to play the guy's cradle next turn. This is a pretty brutal combination against him. Alright, so. If I could stack these triggers right. Okay. Move the fading counter. One, two, three. Oh, I forgot to do this again, but um <laughs> luckily I was not punished. Uh survival. I think I'd go get a Kyrian Ranger. I guess maybe that'd be better if it was just a mana producer. Okay, so. He should be pretty locked down from this tangle wire for a few more turns and I'll probably just play the other one. I'll have time to go get a goblin welder. Hopefully I get 
Um, a red source is what I need. Yep, we'll return squee. Yep. Okay, so uh, that was enough for Lester. So we are up two games to one. We will be right back with game four. Okay, so we're looking at sideboarding. So for the, the game we had brought in Null Rod, uh, the mana denial plan seems like it's pretty reasonable. I don't know if maybe I want to double down and bring more cards like Naturalized Seal Cleansing in. I think I'm okay. We'll we'll try this again. We'll see. We'll see if we're able to pull this out. It feels like we have a lot of tools and that we should be able to do some some good damage to them. So well, let's try this again. Okay, we're back for game four. Lester's on the play. He kept his seven. This hand looks great. Uh, turn one elf. Turn two tangle wire. I also have a shield sphere. This does another permanent to tap. So keep this. I have access to all three colors. Let's hope my hand doesn't get ripped apart. All right, through the mountain. So I guess these wooded foothills can be forests then. I will play the shield sphere because of innocent blood. It looks like a funeral charm. The question is, a oh, lodestone bauble. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I think I'm just going to run out this seal cleansing preemptively. I guess there is some... Okay, so he's... Uh, targeting, yeah, targeting him. I guess I don't have any basic lands, so he put a swamp on top. So he might be poxing, but Okay, so we'll see what damage he can do. Yeah, the, the preemptive seal cleansing like does lose a little bit of value that he knows about it. Okay, I'm okay with, with that. I'm not really pulling ahead with this tangle wire. So the question is do I want to run out the tangle wire right now? Maybe wait a turn or two. So if I just play a land and then I get poxed, I have to discard two cards, sacrifice one land. I think I'm going to wait. We'll see how this goes. And so, yeah, he might be able to pox. I guess I'm probably just discarding two lands for my hand. Okay. So here... Yeah, here's where, like a web, so I think I play the web first. I will actually play green green. I have another green source, and if I draw something like an enlightened tutor. Gaia's Cradle. Okay. Play a wooded foothouse. Okay. I'm going to get a forest here. I really would like a little bit of action. I don't know if that counts as action. Because it's kind of like if I'm playing the Tangle Wire here, I'm not really getting that far ahead. Like, I, I don't have a survival or anything. Hmm. And discarding one third rounded up of four is two, so I might as well be playing other lands. 
don't necessarily want to play the creature because of cards like Pox or whatnot. Plus, survival is a reason to keep Fearing Ranger in your hand. I think I'm, I'm going to pass again. This might be a little bit greedy, just trying to get a little more value out of this Tangle Wire, but uh, I think I want it. It's better when it's in play when it's st preventing him from doing stuff. And right now, it's not really stopping him because I'm not able to punish him in any way. Yeah, there's a solitary confinement, so I guess I could play another land. Ooh, I did not see the nether spirit. Didn't notice that one. Changes a little bit, but um, maybe now I'll play the tangle wire. To pad my life total. Hopefully I can draw. Okay, yeah, now I'll be tangle wiring. Oh, yeah, so he's using it right away. Chimeric idol, okay. I still have seal cleansing. Hmm. Bird's paradise. I think I'm just running out this angle wire. I will play. A three and ranger. I'll pass a turn. The question is if if he's attacking with his chimeric idol, am I using my seal cleansing? Hmm. I might be more afraid of a, like a future curse scroll. Okay, that's not so bad. I don't have to worry about Chimera Gretel this turn. Okay, I guess I do want to fetch. I'm not really interested in drawing more lands. Okay. Let's Fade, tap down, one, two, and three. Okay. Genesis. All right, I think I'm just going to run this guy out. There's one way to do it. Get this big boy into play. I don't have to worry about Chimera Kyle, really, so... And even if this ends up dying, then I just have a, a way to get back Lana Elves or Kieran Ranger that are in my, in my graveyard. This seems like a good good way to grind. Okay, so he's black, black, black. Might be poxing here. Another Chimeric Idol. All right. Okay with that. All right. Another Tango is very good. So yeah, I'll just attack. Yeah, that was very good. He's tapping six permanents, so. I guess he could keep the Chimeric Idol and hit me for three. Do I want to use a seal cleansing if he's... Oh, he's not, he's not attacking. Okay, so I guess he just has the another spirit to block. Or maybe he's attacking with it, but... 
I think it's on defense. Okay. He's got a swamp. He's still got four cards in his hand. Let's use it like this. Okay. Let it have four permanents. One, two, three. There's two for this one. One, two, three. Like, oh, okay. I got them backwards. I'm tapping. Okay, so this is the one for three. One, two, three. Okay. Anger. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I just run that guy out. Um, I'll just, yeah, I guess I'll just keep it back. I guess like maybe it's better to have it in the graveyard or deal two damage. I don't know, but, um, we'll just use it to block like a kind of idol. If that, I guess that's pretty unlikely that he would have to do that. Cause he'd have to attack through Genesis as well. All right. He's tapping another spirit this time. The Chimeric Idols are getting tapped, so we might be seeing something like a Pox. In that case, I'll be sacrificing Anger, Forest, Forest, and discarding. I think I'm going to discard the Solitary Confinement. Because uh, I maybe the lock is not very good because he has enough discard that he'd be able to get a number of cards out of my hand. And then if I have like one card like a squeed coming back and then he just has like a card like funeral charm so before i'd be able to discard it to solitary confinement he'd just be able to funeral charm and get rid of that squee and then it would die so maybe i don't like it so this okay so it does deal damage okay so i'm guessing he's poxing here but i mean i can just get my genesis back if i really wanted to Okay. Discard one third, or maybe solitary confinement. No, I think. Okay. I mean, he's got to sacrifice a chunk of land, so. He's got to sack three, so. Any order, okay. I think so. I'm gonna be tapping two and zeros. Two, okay. So I can use Genesis for Spirit Ranger. I could also just like get back Genesis. I think I'll I'll develop my mana this turn. Okay. Green Ranger. My creatures do have haste. One thing to note. I want survival. Survival and then I could get Goblin Welder. Well I guess this turn I'm gonna be using Genesis. Okay. King Lord dies. Okay, so I have four lands in place, so if he has if his last card is Pox. I might not want to play the Birds of Paradise for something like 
Genesis. So I, I want to get Genesis, or because of survival, sorry. Um, I think I want to get Genesis in play. I think I'm going to need to deal a cleansing one of the Chimeric Idols. And then I will be trying to get a Genesis in play. The best way to do that is hmm. I guess we use this guy as cradle. Right. Deck with Cure Ranger, I'm not blocking with it. Um, He's got to tap two permanents and he gets back another spirit. Really need my creatures to live. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what I need for. This is a pox, this little, okay, another another spirit is fine. So with no cards in hand, I think I will, oh, he's not, oh, he's not activating the Chimeric Idols. Okay. That makes, makes it a little easier for me. I think I was going to use it if he was attacking with both. All right, so. I have Genesis targeting himself, itself. I will be two. And green. Okay. Yes. It's back in my hand. Album Walder would be a good draw too. I guess maybe I shouldn't have used the eyes cradle. That's that's good. Okay. Um so I will be able to play this Genesis, then Enlighten Tutor at end of turn. So, what do I want to get? Ooh, Cabal Pit's kind of interesting there. Um... I might not, I might just get like, I think I need to get, hmm, <laughs> winter orb, um, yeah, I will block this, another spirit, he's going to use his cobalt pit, that's fine. I think, yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay. Great. All right, so let's go get survival. I'll be able to Genesis back a creature. I could have gotten all rod too. Um, okay. Let's get back Mineral Elf. Do you want to use this ability? To yes, all right. I will. Go get 
forest. And oh no, didn't want to play that. Did not want to play that. <laughs> um, yeah, didn't, wanted to discard that one to survival. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, we'll have to wait till next turn, I guess. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that won't cost us. Okay, he's got one card in hand. Ooh, it might be a pox. It is a pox, okay. I am gonna sacrifice. Lanarelf? Two lands. I'm going to sacrifice a plains and a forest. Okay. This is... Yeah, that definitely could have cost me. All right, he's attacking here. I think he gets to attack with all, all of these. Because he doesn't want it, well, he could attack with this. I think I go to one. Ugh. Okay. I can get back Shield Sphere. Let's see here. Okay. Like shield sphere. And block with it. Do I want to get a or I could get shield sphere? Oh, I can get Triskillion. So if I get Field Sphere back, so one, two, three, and then I'm going to go get Squee and then go get Goblin Welder. Okay, I think this will work. Okay. Wall Blossoms is good too. I will, so I'll discard the Wall of Awesome so I can play the Shield Sphere just in case. So I'm going to discard Wall of Awesome. Okay, Goblin Welder. Play Goblin Welder. I guess I should have got Squee. I guess. Still can. Okay, so green. I guess I can hold on, hold on. Uh, with Album Welder and Kirin Ranger, I can attack for. Oh, I can. Okay, I think I can just kill him this turn with. Let me think. If I go. No, I, I can't. I need to discard twice. Okay, so let's. So discard Triskillion. Let's untap. Haven't played a land. So if I to return a forest, okay, I can't. I was thinking I could use the welder yet. Okay, so let's untap the birds and a forest. All right. Uh, 
I am going to discard Triskillion. I'll go get Gui. I'm going to use this Triskillion deck and then kill him. Okay. Took a lot took a lot of work for actually something that was not very difficult. <laughs> okay. So almost threw that one again one one away, but um but the red green welder deck was able to take it down over Pox three one. So Thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time, take care.